David Palmer, Evercore ISI restaurant package food analyst, has a buy rating on McDonald's uh, and a price target of 315. He was just named the number one institutional investor in the restaurants category. Uh, David, great to have you. Um, I guess we'll talk about the stock in a moment, but it does sound like the quarter was a little more resilient than you expected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there there was a lot of good here. I mean, they did high teens EPS growth. Obviously, that is a, a much stronger than the street expected, about six percentage points stronger growth. Comps were 9% globally. Uh, the multi-year trends for the regions were strong, particularly the U.S. and, and the, the developing markets. The international operating operated market, which is really the developed markets, that comp trend was a little slower, so a bit of a slowdown on a multi-year uh, that's something we'll have to keep an, uh, an eye on. Clearly, Europe is dealing with a lot of energy headwinds. And the company is clearly talking about doing more value, but the competitive position of this company is extremely strong right now, and that came through on the earnings call. All right. It does sound like you think in order to meet the Q4 comp uh, estimate, they really have to nail it uh, in the next, what, eight, eight weeks or so, right? Yeah, well, in the U.S., for sure, the, the streets uh, feels a little high there. We're at three and a half. The streets at four and a half. Uh, the, the the comp in October, we think it's one and a half to two percent. It's 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 light. Uh, it's a lot lighter than the eight percent that they just did for three Q. And the reason the com comparisons were brutal in October, they had this crazy popular uh, adult Happy Meal last year, and that caused them to slow down. And the industry's slowed as well. Um, so they're going to have to do something great towards the end of the uh, the year. I think they're going to be pushing hard uh, later in the quarter. So that should help the tone. But we have to get used to moderating growth. They, 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 these heady price increases, they did 10 percent price increase. These days are going to be over uh, in 24. We're going to see a lot more moderate growth. The street's there, but, it, you know, that's something that we have to navigate. Um David, the stock's still down about 12% over the last three months. I mean, how much of that is just this fear over these GLP-1s, which we've seen reflected in so many other similar, at least, companies? Yeah, GLP-1s, at most, this could be a half a percent to traffic and out there in the industry. Uh, other food companies that have had to answer to this far more than McDonald's have said it's virtually nothing right now. Uh, and... And right now, we would think about 5 million people are on these drugs that our, our, our experts here, like Umar Rafat, believe it, it could get to 15 million. So we're talking about tripling something that's modest right now in impact. So there's bigger fish to fry right now. It's there, the, there's the uh, economic factors that are, and, and the inflation factors. Inflation is coming down, and that's going to mean less pricing for these franchise business models. That's going to cause some moderation. But McDonald's is in a great spot competitively to, to uh, continue to, to uh, gain share both U.S. and important markets like Europe. David, I'm trying to figure out how old you are because I'm trying to figure out when the last time McDonald's stock was at $20. Looks like you initiated sometime in maybe the early 2000s. We'll just leave it there. Yeah. But yeah. but on the, on the price, you have a significantly higher price target. What gets us there? Is it is it a weaker economic environment? What what? What entices investors at this type of valuation where the stock is still trading near its highs? They, they should be in a great spot to gain share, to keep on doing something like 4% plus comps into 24. Uh, that makes this a better staple. Uh, this is an inflation protected staple, a company with pricing power that can also feature value while getting that pricing. We're going to see ongoing inflation of some amount. Beef cycle is going to be causing that. Wage prices are going up. We heard from McDonald's talking about the, the minimum wage increases going on in California. That's going to perpetuate some inflation. And that's good news for McDonald's. And it will help their demand as well. Um, and so bottom line is this deserves a premium P to growth ratio, which should make this a good upside name. Maybe not great, but good in a, in a tough market.